she, her. I would first like to thank the Chippewa Valley Board of Education for ensuring that there is a procedure in place for both challenges. It is important that these decisions be made in a logical manner by those most qualified to do so. As parents, we absolutely have the right to determine what books our children read. However, we do not have the right to determine what other children read. That is for their parents. To that end, school media centers need to contain materials for all students. Some will say that they aren't doing anything wrong by demanding certain books are removed from the schools. They're still available for purchase and they're still available at the public library are two common arguments. Those arguments come from a place of privilege, of not understanding <laughs> that some families can't afford books. It's a library. Some families can't get to the libraries. It was suggested at the last meeting that the Bible be added to the media centers. It's actually already in Chippewa Valley High School and Seneca Middle School. What I was not able to find were any non-Christian related religious texts. The five major world religions are in alphabetical order, Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, and Judaism. All of these are represented in the United States, in Michigan, in Macomb County, and in Chippewa Valley schools. All students need to see themselves represented in the materials available. I would ask that we do appreciate, that we do address this lack. There are people here who are concerned with the availability of books discussing difficult topics. In an ideal world, these books would not be necessary. In an ideal world where everyone is treated with kindness, where everyone is accepted for who they are, where no one makes hurt. Sadly, we don't live in an ideal world. As I've already stated, all students need to see themselves represented in the materials available. This includes those who have faced less than ideal circumstances and those who are not accepted because they're not considered normal. The First Amendment gives each of us the freedom to set our own values, to express ourselves openly without fear, and to join with others to make our views known. There's an old adage, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. While the current squeaky will is quite loud, it does not represent the vast majority. You oh. always to look at the results of the last school board election to see that this is true. Wow. Thank you for your attention and for your continued commitment to representing all of the students of Chippewa Valley. We're talking about corn, 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 nasty corn. Father is a little girl. Disgusting. Father is a little girl. Let's go. It's horrible. Okay, we've got everybody else. Yeah, you lost your mind.